A lot of the people that come here will oh! never Para, bro. Everybody loves Para. You guys love the previous video on bayonet training. So we're going to send it now on their combatives training and how they love and want some violence. Once again, let me know down below in the comments who you think is the most brutal and violent and awesome military force there is. Let's go ahead and send it. The Para's men of war. Milling. 60 seconds of controlled aggression. Controlled aggression. Ah! Warning. The video may contain strong language. Lots of f in there. How much how do you much want it? How mental robustness have you got? All of it. Bro, look at them. Why do they all look bigger than the fucking American army too? God damn. My buddies in pair that are what's talking about, talking about, talking about, they're all like 6'3". They're all tall as shit. There's only one or two of them who are like 5'4", five, 5'6", five, some shit like that. These are actually like grown ass men. Bro, look you at them, bro. You can guess. You know, the platoon stuff will have a good- Hey, yo, listen. Get the London look! Am I wrong? He's Think still back. Okay, well. it doesn't take anything wrong. Well, I don't know who's going to do well because I he don't see the two right war. Killing 17 Strong cows. mind, strong body, or weak mind? F***ing weak body. Who are you? No, out. that's weak, bro. That this was for week, the camera. The specialist P Company staff are in charge sick. and will decide if the recruits pass or fail. Yo, fight. hold up. Are they on bicycles? Dude, they are f***ing moving. Holy s***. It literally looks like they're on bikes. They're hauling ass with rugs. I don't know. I would assume it's like 35 pounds at least. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? I want it in me! Put it inside me! Bro, he's dead! That's your done. Stand still. Stand still. You're f***ing finished. Yeah, you can't keep up the pack. Wait, what? Oh, he fell out. This dude, basically dead. That's cool. So they're carrying him off. And then this dude in the back. So you see this dude's right here. Normally, like when you're doing rocking or anything like that, you're actually trying out for something. There's like either an instructor at the rear, call it like the like the cap, or there'll be a student that they recognize as the cap. And anybody who falls behind that point in time throughout the ruck, you cut him. You'd be like, hey, you got 30 seconds to get up there, or you're done. And then I'm assuming this dude fell out because he's not moving. Still, let's stand still. You're finished. Yeah, you can't keep up the pack. You're good to me. And it's not personal. It's just a you can't make it. Job You're not good enough. You can get better though. Whether it is gathering supplies Oof. or Oof. getting to the fight. Bro. That is whatever hot, it is. Bro. Those events have got a meaning. Yo, I know they make this look easy, but my first time doing shit like this, I've done the one they just did, and I've done one like this, but it was only like four or five bars high. It's actually terrifying. But when you actually like look down, you're like, oh shit, we high as Bro, like if you fall, you will actually get fucked up and you actually can die. Normally there's like nets. When the one I went under, even though it was like only this tall, there was net. Bro, here they don't give a shit, bro. They're ready to die in China already. Oh my god. Don't suck his during P Company. Oh man, and his the shoes all wet. Tested on up to Their two boots kind of bug me, that red color. But the most brutal is left to the end. Alright. Skins versus shirts. Have sex. Go. Whoever makes the first one come is gay. That is not your friend. That is your opponent. Don't start trying to fucking start. Fight. Dude, Remember hey, if you're not wearing you're a shirt, bro, head head. and we have to fight, <laughs> I will twist the living fuck out of your nipples. I will drop you. I will fing end you! Do not stop punching until you are told to stop. Bro, I would be getting in your head right now. Bro! Why don't we do this anymore? I don't think you guys understand what the Ah, they're doing okay they're like hey look look at this guy you are going to fight him you guys are going to commit acts of violence against each other Fucking violence now touch heads that is the enemy touching you for these few seconds you need to hate him and you need to try and destroy them bro and now they're just telling each other they want blood and shit, dude the bro, oh they gonna <laughs> Yo, they about to kiss, bro. Yo, maybe I want to join the British Army, dude. This is kind of fun. Bro, that's how you get in his head. You lock eyes, and you just like... <laughs> and then the other dude's like... Ooh! The platoon are about to begin bro, a notorious to test. You don't even want to fight him. One minute, kiss controlled him. aggression. Controlled aggression, okay? We want to see minute. which of you has the bottom to get his head above the parapet when the rounds are coming in. Yeah, win the firefight. That's what we want to see. For those of you who don't know, this is like a calm environment because it is extremely stressful. Controlled aggression, all right? I don't want to see anyone dancing around the ring like Sugar Ray Leonard. Okay, so what they're talking about is they're going to fight, okay? And he's saying controlled aggression is he just mentioned like dancing around the ring. He wants you to like fight, right? And he, or he wants you to be like controlled and positive and move around and Mike Tyson that shit, right? But he also wants you to fight. Get after them. Not like professional boxing, wait them out, time out. No, he wants you to try and kill them. That's why it's controlled aggression. But they don't want you to just go in there and 
Lufkin Middle School Haymakers. That's not what they want. No safe words, bro. Let's go! Bro, bro, they are straight just getting punched in the face. Yeah! And look how small the box is, bro. I want to see someone get knocked out. <laughs> this dude's like, oh, I ain't trying to do that. Ain't nobody trying to do that. I don't want to do this. He's like, fuck. And then this dude's like, mm. and then this dude's like, nipples. And then this dude's like, oh, I'm gay. <laughs> bro, look how small the ring is, too. A lot of the people that come here will oh! never get in a fight. Oh! Oh! Bro! Oh, he's going down! But it is there to test. Oh, dude, he leaking! Moving forwards in the face Ooh! of the ultimate adversary. Bro, Bird? Bro, you better get in there, Mr. Bird. Big Bird him. Ooh! Oh! Two options. Dude, he's getting f***ed up! Dude, he or just took like 30,000 shots to the face! Not of cum, but of hands of fist and fury. Or are you going to keep pushing forwards? Bro, this is... I, I, I absolutely... Oh, Jesus, dude. Red team is getting... Dude, I love this. This puts the Marine Corps combatives video to absolute shame, dude. I'm going to say it. The American army right now, unless we change and go back to our old ways, we've got nothing on them. We have absolutely nothing on the British army. Now, soft, we are clapping cheeks. But regular conventional garrison units, we're getting shit on, let alone just in training. And it's actually super f***ing sad to see. This is actually preparing for war and violence. And you, you don't have to commit acts of violence and acts of aggression all the time. But when that time does come, we will be ready and we will win. Hey! And look at that, they're not f***ing out, they're just like, more, more! It has to be done so that we can test them. We have numbers on them tenfold, but the numbers don't matter. Like if you were to go back to like when we were fighting the Russians, they outnumbered us like 10 to one. They just ran and we just gunned them down and they all died. Numbers mean nothing. That's why for Delta, it's like I would go round, down the river with 10 men than 100 men, like 10 squared away men. Cause numbers in the long run, it don't matter. Numbers are just good for carrying equipment and shit like that, right? In the masses. But if you have 10 solid dudes and they all carry the proper equipment and they know how to use it, you don't need all the extra equipment. Because they're not there to waste. They're there to execute and then complete the mission and go back home. Bro, he's- Oh, look at the- in the, the, the way. Bro, the sure if he these dudes up, it's because they're trying to get that, that butt when they knock them out, you know what I'm saying? Finding yourself in that ring in that very short space of time Dude. is an absolute must. So open the f***ing eyes, bro. Ooh. They definitely did not teach them how to fight at all, but I I love the fact that they're just going hard. Well done, a pair of you, draw. Yes! All right. Last few bouts now, men. I want you to make so much noise, that. it strips the I paint off the walls. Do you understand? Yes! Scrapes the paint yes! off the walls. You know what? Here's actually a good question. To anybody who's currently in the British military, I don't know how old these videos are. Is it still this type of way, this aggression, this brutality? Is it still there in your guys' basic training, or is it softer now? I'd love to know. He looks like he's trying to think. This dude just is like, all right, let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh shit, he's f***ing up. He's f***ing up the skins, bro. Oh, dude, he's getting as well as I mean, Please knock somebody out. I also look at it as a bit of a punishment. Ooh. I was like a fucking bro, hand grenade. Thin gloves, bro. I feel like the Marine Corps had big the gloves. These are thin little gloves, bro, and they're just getting... Oh, my oh, my God! Oh, my God! the marine corps video you couldn't even hit in the face now they're like we're only hitting in the face bitch. not things that i'm overly proud with or, or at all but again i think a lot of it was just uh, frustration and those anger. are like war Probably battle eyes wrong people bro. at the wrong time you can tell my head was just all over the place I'm trying to write write a few wrongs so I he's can about the violence bro he's about can do suffering good. right now and i could do the things that i put he's my just uh, through it you can tell to by looking at his Woo! Bro, they're moving quick to the. That's a draw. Good bout, draw. Y'all yes! want this equality, shit, right? Everything being fair, if you guys both put in the max amount of aggression and violence, you will both win because it's about the effort. Some people are more athletic and better at things than other people. You put in your max effort, and the other person puts in max effort, and they beat the living shit out of you. You have won. You both have fucking won because it's about the amount of effort you put into every single situation. Joe, this is really good to see. 
Dude, that was awesome. Ah!